Hi guys and welcome to my video. In this video I want to uh, talk about clouds. So Roblox allows you within Studio to use clouds um, to help enhance your game. So you'll notice that these clouds that uh, Roblox offers you, um, you can say they are dynamic or they are changing because if you look closely the clouds will move. It's very gradual sometimes, or sometimes they move a little faster, but um, they do move over time. So you'll notice a little bit of movement here. So if you wait minutes or hours, you'll, you'll notice that the shapes of the clouds change and things like that, which is really cool for adding that realistic element to your game. So in order to um, work with clouds or add them into your game, you need to go to the terrain and insert clouds. So I already have them here, but in, in case you don't, you can go to terrain, hit this little plus sign, and insert clouds. So we can search clouds, and there it is. You just click it, and there it is. Make sure that it's under terrain so that it works properly. So now that you have clouds, um, you want to have the properties open. So we have Explorer and Properties. If you don't know how to open these two windows, they are right here under the View tab. Explorer and Properties, they are open. So, in order to work with the clouds or modify them, we click on them, and you'll notice under the Properties we have a few fields that you can play with. The, the three biggest um, parameters are the cover, the density, and the color. So, of course, the color allows you to change the color of the clouds as your heart desires, which is really cool because you can have green clouds, blue clouds, whatever it is you want. So let's talk about uh, cloud coverage. Here under the cover I have it set to 0.7, but let's say for example we move it to 1, you'll notice that the entire sky is covered. So 1 it would be the maximum, 0 to 1. And anywhere in between is, is what uh, you might want to modify or adjust, depending on how you want your world to look. So with this coverage of 1, the entire sky changed its color. So um, it could appear that the entire sky is white, or the entire sky is red, or yellow. It doesn't really look like clouds. It looks like the entire sky changes, which is cool for creating that illusion. So let's go ahead and return to this color. And let's go back to coverage 0.7. So another example um, is if, if I go lower on this coverage number, say 0.5, you'll notice that the cloud coverage is very, very small. Um, there's, there are far fewer clouds. They're still dynamic. They still change. But they are much smaller. And they, it's not like they'll really build up and start raining or anything. Um, it's not at that level yet. But um, it's, it, they move and they form depending on what you set. So 0.7, we'll, we'll kind of see this level of coverage consistently. So the, the next field is the density. Okay, So the density you can think of as the thickness of the clouds or how much water or whatever you know is in the clouds. So if we increase the density, let's just say 0.9, you'll notice the clouds are far thicker, right? You can't see through them as much. We'll go back down to 0.5 and you'll see the difference. We can go down to 0.2. You'll see the clouds are very thin. Um, same kind of uh, coverage, but they are so much thinner that uh, it doesn't seem that way. So let's go back to 0.5. And this is what I have it set to. So again, the coverage is the amount of area that it covers across the sky, and it, the density is the thickness. So if we do reduce it to 0.1 or 0 0.05, you'll see um, it still covers the whole sky, but it, you can start seeing through a little bit, um, which, is, which is really cool. You can adjust these two things. So again, coverage and density. Let's return it back to when I had it. Okay. And let's go ahead and adjust the color. All right, let's go ahead and see. Well, wow, you've got white, you've got red, you've got green. So depending on what it is you're trying to create, you can, you can have um, a lot of freedom with, with these clouds. So that pretty much sums up the video. There's one thing I wanted to mention. Um, the cloud coverage is at a certain height. 
So you'll notice as I scroll up, I get closer and closer to the cloud tops. And once I reach the cloud tops, they disappear, right? So, um, for example, one of my worlds that I have in my game, the terrain is way up, like 10,000 studs high. And so um, I wasn't really able to use the cloud feature because my terrain was way up there. And the, it seems that the, the clouds are at a certain height. So if you, you know, if you start a game and you start a world, um, usually the height or you start at a certain level, the base plate, and then you can add terrain. And you should be fine. You'll see the clouds at a certain height. But keep in mind, if you decide to build terrain above the cloud tops that Roblox has set, then um, as far as I understand, you won't really be able to use the clouds. So keep that in mind. You should be all right, though, because most people don't, you know, elevate their terrain that much. Anyways, so that gives you the, the basics about clouds, and I hope that you have fun with playing around with it, and I hope to hear about or see your creations or projects. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Feel free to uh, share those wonderful experiences. So I will go ahead and leave it at that, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, please be sure to subscribe, uh, like the video if you liked it, go ahead and comment, all that good stuff. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.